Uh, hey everybody, Austin here from uh, Las Vegas from my office and Cami is downstairs in the house. She's right down there in this video. And uh, we're here for our February, our February 2017 Worship Catalyst update and uh, just always grateful to come to you guys and share a little bit about what God's doing and got a pretty cool um, opportunity here to, to have you meet a couple of people that are on our team. And um, we mentioned to you last month that we had gone to San Antonio and done a Worship Leader Essentials weekend, and it was the kickoff of Worship Leader Essentials, which it was the two-day part where the pastor and the worship leader get together and collaborate, and we, um, we you know, um, force them into some dialogue about things that, uh, to help them get better as a church and their mission, vision, values, and strategy, as well as uh, try to mine for some conflict between them uh, so that we can, uh, you know, hopefully steer them away from conflict later on. So, and then the next five months, then we go into a mentoring phase. And these are a couple of our mentors. This is Jeff Crandall. Say hello, Jeff, so I know which one you are. Hello, it's me. And this is Ken down here in the, in the beanie. And uh, these guys are great, and they've been on our team for a while, Jeff for many years, and uh, Ken uh, for a year. And so what I wanted to, um, uh, what I want to do is just kind of talk about how these mentor groups are going, guys. So is that cool? We can just spend a That'd couple great. Yeah. talking about that and let them hear how it's going. And we won't use names or church names or anything like that. Uh, just in case. Um, well, I have a lawyer. I have a lawyer on, on as one of my worship leaders that I'm mentoring, so it could be a problem. So I definitely, <laughs> definitely won't use names. Um, but I wanted to first of all just say, what are you guys enjoying about the process of mentoring uh, these guys? I'm enjoying the getting to know people, worship leaders from another state, for one thing. You know, uh, doing it over video is such a new thing. Face to face is what I was used to in the past, but I love the dynamic of working with them and hearing their stories. They're so different. Um, I think they're both probably a little older than me coming from different contexts and watching them work through the principles of leading worship. Cause we're not really necessarily telling them how to do everything. You know, it's not like a magic formula, but um, the principles will apply no matter where you are and just hearing them apply those. Is, has been a lot of fun. Man, I really love that, Jeff, that you've got two guys that are older than you, and then Abel, who's not on this call, but he's one of our mentors as well. He's got actually a, I think, 14 or 15-year-old worship leader. Oh, that's um, awesome. And so we've got this huge range uh, yeah. of leaders. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Ken, what would you add to that about what you're enjoying about it? What you're um, I think one of the most enjoyable things for me is when I can just see um, worship leaders from different places collaborating and just the creativity and kind of energy that gets cultivated from um, people, even though they're in different states, different places, different contexts, just kind of feeding off each other. And uh, so even though, you know, we get to kind of pour into them, some of the highlight moments for me are when um, they're picking stuff up um, laterally from each other and they start coaching and mentoring each other, even within these calls. And I can just sit there and kind of, you know, enjoy seeing these people, um, like sponges with each other. So the collaboration is a really big highlight for me. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about any, I know we've only been in this for two or three sessions, so it's not like this is 14 sessions in or anything, but I want to talk and see if there are some breakthroughs, you know, in my group, um, out of, out of that San Antonio crew, uh, I have one leader who their church hasn't even started meeting yet, uh, on a consistent basis. And at first, I think he was a little bit like, okay, what am, what's this? I don't have any context for it yet. But as we've been meeting three or four times now, he has started to say, oh, the cool thing about this is I can apply all of this from the, into the DNA level of the church from the very, very beginning. Yeah. So I think that's, that's one of the benefits as Worship Cows as a whole is working with church plants is that there, you know, every, the concrete's not set yet, you know, and we can help, help, help move them. So what about you guys? Any breakthroughs that you're seeing? Um, I think a breakthrough uh, for our group is just been um, kind of how intimate and personable it's been from day one. We have um, some pretty mature people in our group, and so they've been very vulnerable, um, very candid, very honest with each other, uh, even to the point where, you know, we've, we've hit pause in a few sessions and just kind of prayed together extensively about some personal things that are going on in their lives. That's awesome. I'm I'm enjoying the uh, you know the as far as breakthroughs go the realization that the worship leaders actually can speak into the service a little bit more you know yeah. they're used to just doing what what their lead pastor says or in one case just what their lead pastor does just because everything you know talk about creativity and do things change like well I never know what he's gonna do <laughs> and, uh, 
And so um, getting their, their eyes just kind of go, wow, you mean we can talk about this ahead of time and actually kind of map it out? Yeah. It's been good to hear, hear them talk about that. Yeah, that's good. So Cami, as a whole, um, you know, we dreamed up this whole concept uh, a year ago probably, and now it's starting to, you know, really catch momentum because we've got three or four or more of these uh, essentials starting up in the next couple of months. Um, what are you seeing or how are you seeing this in your mind as we saw it start out to where it's now that it's in the mentor phase already? How's that feeling to you in terms of what we first saw it to accomplish? Um, I think it's exciting because first of all, we've got so many more people involved. I mean, just to see Jeff and Ken talk about these groups that they're meeting with and Abel has a group. Um, I feel like we're getting on those front lines of being right there with these worship leaders, whether it's at the very ground stages of a church starting or some of them are, you know, three or four months in, six months a year in, um, we're getting to meet them right where they are. And I, you know, I think a lot of times hearing these guys talk, it makes me realize, you know, a lot of times you're kind of siloed off with your church and you don't have that camaraderie of other people that know exactly what you're going through. Even if it's a different context, they're able to sit there on those phone calls and go, Hey, there's someone else that gets what I do. They appreciate it. They understand the lows and the highs. And so to have that kind of group, I think that's just huge to hear those guys talk and to hear the, some of those aha moments those people are having where they actually, you know, are dealing with things that need to come out and they're able to pray with a group that understands and, you know, is committed to being there with them. I think that's huge. So, yeah, yeah I think what we envision seeing happen and seeing it come to fruition through some of these guys. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. And I think the scale, the, you know, just the, the scale of it is interesting because I think that by, you know, May or so, we'll be working with 50 churches through this process, probably. So. That's awesome. Well, thanks, Jeff and Ken and Cammie, and uh, for being on this call. And uh, for the, those of you watching this video, our friends and uh, partners, thanks for all that you do through your giving and your prayers and, and being our friends and just making all of this possible, literally without you, none of this. Yeah. And so um, God bless you guys. And uh, go to worshipleaderessentials.com if you want to find out about more of these things. And uh, we'll talk soon. Okay. God bless you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.